So my husband and I are looking to get in shape this year. What do you guys have this year at CES that can help us on our journey? <laughs> okay, um, depends on what kind of product you're interested in. So we have a okay. whole ecosystem of connected health products. Uh -huh. So we have smart watches, smart scales. Yeah, we have products. the scale, we have the scale. So we're, yeah, we're looking for something else to add in okay. our in the mix. For, okay, getting fit for, for the year. Yeah. We have our scan watch range. Okay. It's our hybrid smart watch with ECG, heart rate, and oximeter. These okay. are the three different SKUs for scan watch. The uh, entry level SKU is called scan watch light. So it takes your heart rate, sleep tracking, okay. workout mode, um, steps, has a 30 day battery life, mm -hmm. uh, and also comes with really beautiful uh, color variations. Okay, and it works with Android and iOS? Absolutely. Okay. All data for all of our products, mm -hmm. via Wi Fi or Bluetooth, okay. or app, where you can track your trends over time and share data with your doctor mm -hmm. um, if you want, if necessary. Mm -hmm. So, this is our entry level Scan Watch, and then one step higher is called Scan Watch 2. Okay. So, it does everything that Scan Watch Lite does, so heart rate, sleep tracking steps workout mode plus it has added medical features like a one lead ecg that's fda cleared to take oh, okay nice uh, to detect afib or atrial fibrillation the most common type of arrhythmia mm -hmm. plus it has an spo2 sensor to measure your blood oxygen level so Perfect. we have uh first match two it also a 30 day battery life a sapphire glass mm -hmm. screen so it's scratch resistant okay uh, and water resistant up to 50 meters so you could swim shower do your dishes it's not gonna get damaged okay once up higher we have our scan watch nova it's our diver version of scan watch okay so you see that in the look and feel of the watch it's a little bit of a bigger screen has that diver mm. looking feel um, and it does all the uh, tracks all the health metrics that Scan ScanWatch 2 does mm -hmm. plus it has an increased um, uh, water resistance up to 100 meters versus 50 meters mm -hmm. because that's a feature of a diver watch mm -hmm. um, and plus the look and feel of the watch itself is yeah I really like the design of it yeah. it's very nice it's beautiful uh, and it's stylish and it can go in the water. Yeah, so for me, I actually love Scamwatch 2. Okay. Um, it comes in 30 millimeters. Oh, yeah, that's I beautiful. I like the face. That's pretty. And for me, I prefer the size for yeah, my wrist. Yeah, not general. too big, not too small. Uh huh. Uh, for guys, oftentimes, I don't want to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take 42 millimeter. It's just a little bit of a larger watch. Piece. Okay. Uh, but Scamwatch Lite, I have to say, if, if you don't think you need an ECG sensor or an SPO2 sensor mm -hmm. in a watch yeah. and you just want to have a hybrid smart watch that's attractive to track your workouts, uh, sleep tracking, if those are the features that you find right. valuable as a consumer, mm -hmm. ScanWatch Lite might be the way to go because it's a slightly lower price point um, and gives you what you need as a consumer. Okay. But ScanWatch 2 is amazing. Trend. Now, AI is big here at CES this year, so is there any AI technology that you guys are using for any of these metrics? So with AI, we integrate it into our app, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so all the products, they sync the wi fi to our free app with these app. All the products that we have are complementary products. So we have blood pressure monitors, scales, smart watches, a home gear and lab, mm -hmm. uh, a sleep tracking mat. The idea is all these products sync different health metrics to our app that are complementary. So you would say, you would think your blood pressure can have uh, correlations to your weight. To your right, absolutely. Position. The more data you have, the more, the better lifestyle decisions you can make. And through our app, we provide personalized health insights to help mm -hmm. the consumer and empower the consumer to make those decisions. Nice. Um, so this is actually one of my favorite products. Oh, this good. Um, it's one of our favorite products, but it's the only one we have right now. <laughs> okay, amazing. Uh, so you're somewhat familiar. It's a connected health station yes. that does a segmental body composition. So it measures your fat and muscle in your arms, your torso, and your legs. Mm -hmm. Plus it does a six lead ECG that is FDA cleared and CE cleared to detect AFib or atrial fibrillation. Okay, that's The nice. ECG sensor in our watch is one lead. Mm -hmm. The ECG sensor and body scan is a six lead. They're both uh, FDA cleared to detect AFib. The, this is the only smart scale in the market that has a six lead ECG embedded into the scale itself. Okay. A six lead ECG just gives you more information about your heart rhythms that mm -hmm. you can share with your doctor to because there's a whole a, a ton of different types of arrhythmia. AFib is just the most common type, right, so that's right. why we've got the FDA clearance for that. But the more leads you have, the more information you have in an ECG wave. You can send it to your doctor and he can form a formal EKG, nice. a 12 lead EKG. Yeah. And if you have a different type of arrhythmia, uh, you can detect it early and prevent yeah. uh, a serious. Uh, serious health effects. Yeah, and I think the more information you can provide to your doctor, the better yeah. that they can, you know, treat you. So that's Absolutely. really cool. Really um, cool. 
Yeah, so I love this product. And on top of this, it has an additional feature. It's in Europe, we call it a nerve activity score. Okay. Um, so it measures the health of your nerve glands in your feet. Oh, interesting, okay. Why do we care about this with certain uh, cardiovascular conditions? Um, I can give you an example, but okay, so with diabetes, for example, yeah, uh, precursor for having diabetes is nerve damage. Yes, nerve I heard that. Right. Okay. Neuropathy. Yeah, my mom has neuropathy, so this would maybe be interesting for her. <laughs> uh, so in Europe, it's called a nerve activity score. In the US, uh -huh. it's called an electrodermal activity score. Okay. Uh, so that's the third uh, feature for body scan. Um, mm -hmm. Plus it does your vascular age, which is a feature that's really unique to within scales. Vascular age uh, measures the stiffness in your arteries. Um, and the stiffer your arteries are, generally speaking, it could have more plaque. And we have plaque growth okay, in your yeah. so It can understand. cause a stroke or a heart attack. So a vascular age assessment measures the stiffness in your arteries. And then it, gets, it sends that measurement. Mm -hmm. uh, we convert it into a chronological age based on your chronological age, because our app knows it when you set up a profile, you put your age, your gender, right, right, yeah. uh, height, weight, et cetera. Mm -hmm. It uh, takes the, uh, the pulse wave velocity measurement mm -hmm. and compares it to your chronological age and also the uh, pulse wave velocity of other Withings users that are also your chronological age. Nice. I know that that sounds a little. No, but that's crazy. cool. That's cool. And then it gives you an age range. So when you step on the scale, and these are all the screens that you would see as yeah. a consumer uh, stepping on body scan. So this is a vascular age uh, screen. So it says it gives you an age range. So your arteries are between 28 to 32 years old. So it, it's okay. not going to say your arteries are. Hopefully, it doesn't say 100 years old. old. <laughs> yeah, but it's an age range because, uh, yeah, it's going to give you an idea of the health of your artery. Right. Uh, and it's easy to interpret as a consumer. Okay. And yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Definitely. And honestly, it's a, it's a cool health metric. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think so. So um, I think we're interested in upgrading our current within scale. So are these on the market yet? If not, when are they yeah. coming available? Yeah, it's available for sale in the U.S., Europe. You can get it at Best Buy, okay. Amazon, Withings.com. And what is the pricing for these? Uh, three ninety nine ninety five. Three ninety nine ninety five. Okay. It's an amazing deal for all the health features that are jam packed. Awesome. Awesome. It's a great product. But this is a. Can I tell you about this one? Yes, absolutely. Because I was looking. Okay, I think I know what it is based on. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Tell me all about it. <laughs> so this is the product that we unveiled during CES twenty twenty. It goes in the toilet, in right? The it goes in the toilet. This is the buzz of <laughs> town uh, last year. Um, so it's a product I can show you afterwards in the toilet how it's uh, positioned. Okay. Um, but essentially, you pee on, you scan. Mm -hmm. uh, your urine goes in through an inlet in the device. Mm -hmm. Inside the device, you have a cartridge. So we've designed it with different types of cartridges because we understand there's different types of consumers with different uses, and they would need different. They would need to detect different health metrics right. out of this product. So that's why we have three different cartridges for those mm -hmm. use cases. So the first use case is called future sync. Uh, so it'll measure, uh, so it'll measure like ketones, pH, hydration mm -hmm. in your urine. Mm -hmm. The second one is cycle sync. It's meant for a female consumer, maybe who wants to plan a family or struggling with fertility, or maybe doesn't want to plan a family but wants right. to know their, their cycles. Yeah. Um, that's that uh, perfect. Yeah. And then the Uscan Explorer is actually for B2B use cases. So it's going to be defined, uh, but it's more for our B2B team to okay. uh, sell for say, to hospitals, right. clinics, okay. uh, different programs, health programs, mm -hmm. and then they would define to us, this is the value we would find based on our patient demographic, mm -hmm. measuring their fee over time, or their year over time. All right, now you have obviously multiple people in the house, right? So can it detect different users? <laughs> uh, it's a one user device. Okay, and, um, so they might need another toilet to put their toilets <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Or you just have the whole thing lined with like. <laughs> uh, no, it actually one toilet per one product, and I'll show you okay. why in the toilet that we have for there. Okay. Um, the, and another question that we've gotten often with you scan, I use the bathroom four or five, six times a day. In my mm -hmm. Is it measuring my urine four or five, six times a day? That's a little excessive. So no. 
Okay. You, as a consumer, you tell the product through the app what you want a UCM measurement to take place. So maybe like once a day or twice once a day, day, once in the morning, once a, you can do like time frames too? Like if you want to do it early in the morning, late at, okay. You set uh, basically how often you would want your urine to, uh, to be tracked mm -hmm. and then each cartridge lasts three months. Okay. So there's 90 measurements that could be taking take place within a cartridge mm -hmm. and then after the three months is over, um, it's a subscription, or oh, the idea is, uh, it would be a subscription model, and okay. you would get a new cartridge in the mail, so you would always have continuous uh, urine. Right, okay, all right. Um, so this is the U-Scan? Yeah, uh, you know what, I think we might want to pick that up too, that would be cool. Uh, so U-Scan is not on the market, very important to, to say, it's an okay. investigational device, all right. uh, pending FDA clearance and CD clearance, They're going through that process right now, so it's not on sale yet, and on our side we're only launching products that have CE or FDA clearance. Okay, yeah, that's good, because um, obviously people always sure. ask that question or want to know, right? Sure, and also to uh, make sure that consumers feel that they have products that are accurate. Mm -hmm. That's really important as well, and that's part of like the Wiggins brand value proposition. Yeah. So this is how it looks inside the toilet. Okay. So you lift up the toilet bowl lid, mm -hmm. and it's a um, of a plastic holder like this, mm -hmm. you attach it to the back of the device, and then you place it in the front of your toilet bowl, mm -hmm. and it just sits like this. Okay. Um, now I assume you have to do like some regular cleaning of it. Does it have any like built-in, you know? <laughs> really good question. So hygienic. We have an awesome team of chemists mm -hmm. um, in Paris. And they've done so many tests on different types of materials Material? okay, yeah. to make sure that the product itself, uh, if you flush the toilet bowl, it's just going to be cleaned by a flush. Okay. I mean, granted, I mean, uh, yeah. it should happen, so to speak. <laughs> uh, but generally speaking, one flush will clean the product. Okay. And so the product is designed for that purpose. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Well, we hope to see it on the market soon. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm super excited for this to come to market because yeah. this is a really uh, revolutionary product. Yeah, I would say.